We still don't know much about the third phase of the game. But the first one is four twos, and the second one is a two power equipment. Which I think we can just slime. Or Harrison. And then... And, uh, you know, some domage. So, hmm. Yeah, Dio, see if you can, see if you can, uh, see what the pattern is there. I'm gonna try Druid, I guess? We haven't really tried Druid much this, uh, oops. This wing. Oh yeah, the, uh, draw three. Everybody draws three and gets a Mana Crystal one we did. OCD. Claw doesn't seem like the worst. Not too impressed by any of these. Two five seems insane. Whoa, whoa, foilies. Keeper seems really strong. have like spot removal right and you just had four damage it's possible you could do like this go real fat but I don't know how realistic these things are Uh, I'm going to play Harrison Jones instead of Nourish, so that I can go into the second phase and Harrison Anixia's weapon, which will act like a draw 5 or 6 and take out the weapon. I don't think you have room for Nourish and Harrison Jones. That's my thinking, at least. One of these doesn't seem too bad. Trying to think of what their early game was like. It was like Twilight Drakes. God, I don't even remember. My brain is just. I'm gonna play this. Explosive Sheep is kind of cute because it's when, when um, I get Wrath when Anixia dies, it'll Pyroclasm them, but I don't think it's enough. I could play one though, because it's good against the hero power also. In the in the first mode. Yeah, I said the two one dragon, but also uh, the three five as Bear Squared said. But I want BGH, probably. I imagine I'm going to 
get below 15 life before uh, those six fives or six sixes are through. Harvest Golems are good against the hero power, but kind of expensive. Kind of hoping to use uh, Sheep, Swipe, Starfall against those. MC Tech, probably not great. Could be okay if it goes aggressive early. Try one. I don't think the Plague Wind was a spell. The Plague Wind is just a trigger that happens when um, the fight rolls over into the new mode. Brewmaster the Ancient and then trigger the thing. I thought about doing something like that. Problem is, you're probably just better off trying to play through it. Unless you're going to fatigue. I don't know if he like comes back with 50 more health. In which case, you're probably better off playing for fatigue. But we'll find out. Somebody said Baron get in, but I think I'd rather have... The Ancients, and I don't know if you can play that many high drops. Is Sludge Belcher better than Druid the Claw? No. Probably not. Oh yeah, I forgot Harrison again. Harry, where you at, dog? Hmm. I feel like I might have too much stuff for the first phase. Cut like this idiot. Hype, Serpy Boy. Welcome to the team. Welcome back to the team. Either way, thank you. I flew pigs in your honor. Much appreciated, my friend. Very awesome. That ace is a 10 10, isn't it? it might be 11 11, I don't know. Oh yeah, it's 11-11, because it's 7-4 seven, seven, four, and 4-7. Four, yes, raise your flu pitch. You get to wave with a cute penguin when you uh, enter rooms. That's pretty sweet, right? Greeting people with cute penguins. Alright, let's try this. Croc. To battle. Monsters. Communists. Malfurion versus Nefarian. Again. Again. <laughs> All right, this hand's pretty great. Obviously, lead with turn one claw, stay on curve.
laugh you. My shadow flame animates their bones. Yeah. Wild growth, where you been, dog? Bathe in flames. Not happy about that, but Power flows through. Ooh, we knew about this from a soul fire, I think. Like that card's real good. Let's go sweet card. Uh it's not bad. How to use it though. Probably supposed to kill this thing. And claw one of these. Alright. Well, I should just claw this thing, right? Is there a way I can draw a card with this thing? No, right? I mean, there is. Yeah, fuck it. What, is, what, what does he have for this? What, what kind of pump spell is he going to use? I feel like you have to take risks because the this ma you know the matchup is so crazy with the challenge and everything. in the back pocket, which is good. Where shall I strike? Still has to, you know, throw a thing away. Ooh, no pump for that. That's good for us. Oh, goodness gracious. I could even keep my 2-1 around if I wanted. But I feel like my life total is low enough. Could also not cast it. Because the 5 will go into this... Hmm. I would have to gain life with this, though. Which is not ideal. But I might have to end up doing that anyway. Alright, I'm not happy about this, but... Maybe he won't have a good follow-up and we can draw, like, a uh, Sludge Belcher. Alright, that's not a good follow-up. Now we need to draw Belcher. And the prophecy shall be fulfilled. Oh, not quite. Go easy on me. We got a nice favor from the, uh, oh, well, that's a hilariously bad draw. We got a nice favor from the AI, but we cannot convert. We drew our Harrison too early, and our mm, wild growth was not correctly timed. Imagine if I had swiped now, though.
All right, let's try the fight again with the same deck. Oh, well, we're not actually dead yet, but don't think we have any outs. What can you draw? Innervate, Starfall? That's eh, not even enough. Well, let's find out. Nope. I can see. We really need a uh, wild growth on turn two, I think. To keep up with this hero power. Cause you really have to stay on top of it, especially with our game plan. Because we're gonna have to try and get him into the second mode pretty quickly. So you really have to stay on top of the hero power early. Like, maybe I should have just innervated out the druid on turn <laughs> two or what, when I drew it. We're gonna be pretty behind by the time the wild growth gets through. Let's try and keep MC tech. Harry, you're gonna have to come back in like eight turns. My ultimate creation awaits. Pretty sure I said eight. Yeah, Druid might be uh, ambitious, but I'm gonna give it a shot. No harm in trying, right? Silence you is all I want to do? Seems weird, but I think it's correct. Yeah, I was hoping he would hear a power. It's a weird attack. Um, could actually get an MC tech off this turn by throwing away the wrath, but that does not seem worth it. Heal nature's wrath. Just bop this idiot. Play this idiot. No, no Force of Nature. Force of Nature is like a burst card, and we have to do uh, 90 damage. It does not seem good. <laughs> Let's go cyclical. Turn. Oh, I could bop here. But that's. Yeah, I'll bop here because it means I'm less likely to have to swipe next turn. It kind of sucks if he just hero powers. No, it's fine. Not super happy about it, but. Play another thing and then don't attack. This is actually good for us, because now we play... We get a like, full turn off to play this thing. Alright, this game is going well, so far. Okay... It's so close to being completely busted. Alright, check out this line. Silence you. Bop you. Just 
traits. Because now 3 5 matches up well against the. Uh, or that. I was going to say against the 4 2s, but. Blood Mage Thalmos. So we go Bop here, Cure Power Swipe. Which leaves us with three mana. I could also just trade Claw and Ancient. Problem with that, I think is that the Ancient needs to draw cards if I play it this turn. But I feel like to win the matchup, I'm going to need to gain five. Because either I'm going to fatigue or get burned out in the second phase. Like, I'm going to fatigue for sure, because I'm going to... My plan is the Harrison Jones for, like, five. Yes, yeah, so this needs to gain life. So... That's fine. I guess I could just do it. Hold the swipe. Let him go. Play something hero power. Then I can MC tech. Alright. I'm on board. For the wild. Well, shit. It's the opposite of what we wanted him to do. God, that was so bad for us. Whatever, I guess I just let him chrome for a turn. was your plan. Interesting. Oh my god. Starfall, Blood Mage Style knows something. Ah! So, start with MC Tech. Uh, 20, 40% chance. I could also hit one of these and then MC Tech. So at least I get a 2 1 some percentage of the time. I could even. No, I couldn't. Alright. Big money, big money, no whammy, no whammy. Alright, I will take it. I will totally take it. A 
awesome sauce. Double awesome sauce. Didn't have to discard. It's gonna be good for post Harrison. LOL, Twilight Drake. Wow, Fresco opened Leroy Jenkins. How lucky. Instruction begins. Guess we just play Harrison until we have another body. Kenny Wings, did you just tune in? Because this is what happens next. <laughs> that claw does belong in a museum. First, go open a gold Archmage Antonitis. Fresh is just the luckiest. There's our Starfall, too. Wild growth, and then not cast excess mana. No, I'm actually gonna hero power. Yeah. Gain one life. Holding excess mana is one of my favorite plays in Hearthstone. People don't do it enough. Fresco opened Blood Mage Dalmos. How lucky. Why is he opening all these classic packs? There is indeed a third phase to this, which is why I'm holding all these cards. This is only one, thankfully. just a single fireball. Because I'm charging up for a glorious. 
this time. So we get plague winded now. Is there anything I want to do first? Nope. I shall do as you say. I shall do as you I don't say. think this damage carries over to Nefarian, but no reason not to make sure. Okay, so the damage from the first fight stays. Alright, so this hero power is bad. Don't do that, bro. Let's be pals. Pay attention, class. I'm ready to learn. For the wild. I think the extra turn of fatigue is worth more than a two two in play. Looks lethal, but I'm a little tempted. To try and I guess I can auto heads with swipe and hero power, right? Just like swipe here and then go face. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I can even use a claw instead of a 2 2. It's probably the best way to do it. I'm ready to win. I'm ready to win. Instruction begins. And then, appropriately enough, the finishing blow with my face. Game! This is only the second try. Brought down the mountain. That was, that's a pretty sweet card back. The wings and the scales and the dragon teeth. I'm sticking with my ice crowns, though. Ting, 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 ting. Wow. We did it. Excellent. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, I was half expecting Ragnaros to pop up or, so, so, you know, some sort of weird fourth phase. Do you know if you click on your avatar system each boss has a response? Yeah, uh, also the map does things. I don't really play around with that type of stuff too much. I'm more interested in the game itself. Did a Fast and Pros racing to do it? That's pretty sweet. I was definitely not trying to do it as fast and efficiently as possible. 7272 Northshire Cleric. It's pretty awesome. I feel like Priest Combo is one of the ways that, like, you can solve a lot of these problems. Or a lot of these puzzles. Same with, uh, Freeze Mage. So, yeah, that's Black Rock Mountain. The dragon set. Pretty cool. I'm going to open these packs for your amusement and then shut it down. Because I've been live for three and a half hours. 
which is about my limit. But I'll be back later in the week, and we'll be doing uh, one more arena before we switch to Magic for the stream game of uh, choice. Rubala Phase 2 is an Ixia. Golden? Not so good. Although I like the purple, uh, ghastly, phantasmal effect in the foil here. It's only be at GP Vegas. I will indeed. The uh, tournament site is walkable from my house. <laughs> and I am pre-registered and looking forward to it. You're going to be playing Tempest at all. No, I will not. Uh, all of my magic streaming will be playtesting. Because I plan on... I'm attending the GP, which is Modern Masters, which you can't playtest online yet. Or nor in time for the GP. But then shortly thereafter, I'm hoping to go to the Star City Games Invitational. Because it's the last one that my qualification is for. My qualification uh, expires if I don't use it in, for uh, Columbus uh, in, on June 4th or whatever it is. No problem, Codename Duchess. I know you weren't trying to, and you really didn't. I was just like, I, I want to stay on top of it. Anything that's close to spoiling, I want to be like, oh, yeah, you know, nip it in the bud so that uh, real spoilers don't sneak through. Yes, if you are interested in watching Tempest, uh, go follow the Boyks, although I'm sure many of you are already. Uh, you should do that because I'm sure he will be drafting it. Kenji drafted it today. I don't know how much he's going to draft it, though. Um, but yeah, Tempest is not going to be me. Uh, 